Hey guys, this is Donald McGuinn here. I wanted to come back live to show you guys one more video. Not one more as in this is the last one, but one more as in another one. Um, so what I have here is one of my client sites on a staging server. So don't leave any comments saying that I have updating the site live or anything like that. So we're on a staging server, so we're all safe there. Now I'm going to go ahead and update this site from the current version of X, which is 4.6.4, .4, to the newest version of X Pro, which is 1.0.4. Okay, so once we have our staging server set up, we have our dashboard. And you can see that we have several updates. So I am just going to go through what I would do for all of my other sites that I've, I've been doing. Um, okay, so we're gonna go to updates. And I've been told a couple times that you, when you're upgrading to Pro, you should turn off Cornerstone, Cornerstone or deactivate it uh, or something of that nature. Um, but I haven't had any issues doing that, uh, going through the process where I don't deactivate Cornerstone first. So I'm going to um, I'm going to go ahead and do it and deactivate Cornerstone just to um, see what that process is. All right, we're going to go ahead and deactivate Cornerstone first, just so it doesn't mess anything up during the process. And as you see on our staging site, it looks a bit of a mess, but no worries. Okay, so let's go over to our updates. And so we have all of these updates. There's a lot to go through. Uh, I've been waiting to hold. I've been waiting to update Slider Revolution because there was a period of time where, if you even touched it, Slider Revolution just broke. Um, so as you can see, we have Toolset installed on here, um, Slider Revolution, and a couple of the normal X uh, add-ons. Um, I manage WordPress just so I can manage the site, and um, that's about it. Along with the actual. Um, the actual theme which is down here so it says I need to update the 5.0.3 but I'll show you guys how to just go around that I think theme code was suggesting that you update the 5 first and then go to pro but I honestly haven't had any issues updating straight to pro and if I don't run into issue, any issues while updating the site that does not mean that you're gonna have just as smooth of a process because as you can see I don't have much going on with this site, uh, but the plugins list, the plugins list, is um, just some basic stuff. I've got I've got my gravity forms um, from my fabric, uh, my Favicon, um, just a couple of things. Nothing really, nothing really big. I just have a few updates. So let's go ahead and update X first. So we're going to go ahead and since we're going to use Pro and not Five. We're going to go ahead and add the theme as a new theme, just like you, just like they have suggested in the knowledge base. So once we go to our theme, um, you can see that right now I have a child theme active. So we're going to go ahead, um, instead of updating it here, we're going to go ahead and add a new theme. Upload the theme, and I've got the newest version right here. Feel free to comment uh, if, any questions at all or anything like that not really a troubleshooting kind of thing right now for for you all if you have any issues I would suggest posting a separate topic in the X Team users Facebook group or submitting something to um, to ThemeCo but this isn't really the spot where we're going to be troubleshooting your website through the comments so we're still uploading the theme now as you can see we're waiting uploading up here so once that is done and this is all live I haven't tested anything beforehand I don't know what it's going to do uh, I just know that we'll be fine because we're on a staging server and the main site has been backed up while that's uploading you can see that we have quite a few we have a couple of directories on here um, we have a blog on here for the news and events 
Um, let's see if we can see any of this without Cornerstone. So the tool set it's kind of, looks kind of funky without Cornerstone, but you can see we have quite a few directory members. Um, so that could always mess up with the new code or anything like that. That's something that we're definitely going to go ahead and check in once we are done updating. It looks like it's still uploading the theme. I've noticed that it does take quite some time, so don't worry about it. If it freezes, um, it might not be frozen. It might just be taking a while. My computer's working over hard. I hear the fan kicking on. Um, like I said, I this is why I'm doing everything on a staging server instead of doing it live because you never know what's going to happen. Let's see. And you can always get the latest version of whichever theme you have on your dashboard. So themeco, theme.co, login, takes you right to your dashboard. All right. So this has been successfully uploaded. Let's activate that. And once that's activated, we're going to check to see what things look like on the front end. Cornerstone is automatically integrated with XPro, so you no longer need that plugin to be active or even installed on the website. Um, we are all validated on the site because I upgraded my license earlier to Pro, so that way we can get automatic updates. Um, so let's go to our front end and go to the home page and see if anything is broken. Okay, so far we've got everything looking good. I haven't redone the header. We I haven't redesigned the header yet, of course, since we just updated. Um, but everything is looking normal. Everything looks like it needs to look like. Quick links. This is supposed to be here. Don't worry about that. Um, the slider looks good. This is a revolution slider, so this is good. And I and in a change log, I think 1.0.4 fixes the masthead sliders. So you should definitely see an improvement there. Um, let's see if anything else on the site looks weird. All right, these are not supposed to have images like the other one, so that's fine. There's just a lot of these. I might do a pagination for this. Um, let's see, anything with our gravity forms messed it up or anything like that? Tog the tabs still work. This looks like it still works. News and events, let's check our posts. See if that works. Yeah, everything seems to be in working order. We have two payment forms. Um, let's see if our search works. And we're gonna look for uh, trailways, just because I see it. Yep, so everything looks like it's still working very well, which is great. So now I think we're safe. That did mess up a little bit. Um, but I think that's my code actually. So I might have to fix that anyway. Uh, so I think everything is good to go. Let me go ahead and update the rest of the plugins that we have. So we have a few other plugins that we need to update. And luckily, I, was, I got lucky and nothing went wrong with it. Um, I mean, that's not to say that your site won't be the same. Um, so Cornerstone is still installed, so we're going to leave that there for a minute. Let's up. I like to update Slider Revolution by itself and with nothing else because it's just such a heavy plugin. So let's see how that works. And I probably will time out. I always get a timeout when I update plugins like Slider Revolution. Uh, there's no caching or anything. Well, it's caching, but it's, caching is turned off on the staging site. No Cloudflare, nothing like that. So we don't have to worry about any of that stuff. And I'm just checking to see if there's any comments, which there's not so far. So if you guys, like I said, if you guys have any questions, let me know. Um, We'll just wait for the Slider Revolution to update, and we won't be able to go to this site. But in the meantime, here's a live site, safe and sound, because we are not updating a live site. And if you are brave enough to update a live site, 
just perform a backup. There's so many free plugins out there. A uh, popular one is all, um, not all one, uh, Updraft. That's a popular one. Du uh, Duplicator, I think that's another one that a lot of people have good luck with. I've never used it. If you're looking to do like a single backup only, all in one WordPress migration, it's a great tool for migrating your site or just doing a one time backup without having to do any automation. Still waiting on that plugin to update. Um, so, yeah. Waiting for this to update. Like I said, Slider Revolution always, always scares me when updating that. A lot of my sites need to update Slider Revolution, and I just I put it off as I put it off as long as I can. Honestly, I'm trying to find a way so that I don't have to use Slider Revolution. This is fun waiting for plugins to update. I'm sure you guys just love this process. If you guys were just looking for the X Pro portion of the update, then that's about it. There's nothing else to do besides deactivate Cornerstone for X Pro. Um, and I will be rebuilding this header in the staging site. Most likely not in this video because that's not what this video is about. Um, I have a very plain footer so there's nothing to really do there so yeah just this is going to be on scheduled maintenance until this one's back live let's see and it's not unusual for slider revolution or a couple other plugins to take this long to update it's usually if uh, this stops spinning is when you have an issue. Which I'm hoping we don't run into. But if we do, staging. taking an unusual amount of time which is odd because there's no there shouldn't be any caching or anything holding this back it's just such a big plug-in such a big plug-in the other ones don't take this long things like uh, the regular X ones there we go so it says it has updated successfully. So let's refresh this page to see how it looks on the front end. Make sure it's still running smooth. Looks like everything is uh, good to go. Thank the Lord. So we'll go back to our updates. And then we'll go ahead and update, manage WordPress, Google Analytics and Typekit. I'll do toolset views because that's also a heavy plugin. So I'll do that later. So we update those. That shouldn't be too long. But yeah, so I'm very glad to see that Slider Revolution does not cause any errors with the updating process at all. Which is always a good sign. Go ahead and get rid of this live site so that I don't accidentally update something there. That would not be good. Yeah. So once these three plugins are updated, um, then that's pretty much it. I would say that this was a successful update to XPro 1.0.4. Um, I mean, it all depends. This all depends on your install and the server that you're on. If you're doing a live, if you're doing it on a staging site, that's that's really what it depends on. I won't be able to update the tool set views because technically this site isn't validated through their 
licensing software so I'm not even gonna worry about that for now you guys that doesn't matter um, but yeah it's it's hundred percent safe to delete cornerstone you can see I have it deactivated and everything still works so you don't have to worry about that um, any questions at all before I head out this is about it for you guys successfully deleted if you guys have any questions feel free to message me or tag me in a status in the XDM users Facebook group um, yeah so guys have a great day thank you